University of Washington researchers, they took um, stormwater runoff from 520 a number of years ago, and, and they put that stormwater runoff, which was just as polluted, maybe even more polluted, they put that into, um, through rain gardens, and then they put a bunch of fish in it to see what would happen. And, um, and the fish all survived. Pretty amazing, right? And it's kind of like, wow. And you know, the solution to these issues um, may not be entirely rain gardens, but we know that rain gardens are pretty super effective at, at cleaning up stormwater. And the RainWise program captures rooftop rainwater and puts it into either a rain garden or a cistern so that it doesn't flow into your sewer pipes and overflow your sewer system. And in this case, those overflows would lead to Lake Washington. An undertaking like this is something that had been in our minds and garden education and outdoor education is always part of what we've tried to support in the parent community relying on volunteers. Um, and this sort of project, I wouldn't have imagined we'd have had the capital resources or, or person resources to do in five years, let alone a year and a half. And in my work I see beautiful gardens and outdoor spaces and how they can have a positive effect on people's moods and well-being. Um, nature is stimulating and it's important for our children's education. This is a poem by me, uh, Cleanliness. Rain. Rain, the life-forming liquid of cleanliness. Mandatory for not just us, but the beautiful or not so beautiful stocks that carry one that carry everyone to success. Plants, we need them oh so much. They keep the air full of life, clean. The clean we hope the lake could be. So many great people want change, not just us, but the plants too. Um, when I was in fifth grade and we were designing it, it was really cool to design and pick all the plants out to help the environment become a better place and for years to come on. My experience was fun and there was a lot of things to do and we really like worked our strategies and uh, it was really fun and that's all I had to say. What I learned from this process and I think what we all learned is that we really should be listening to fifth graders more <laughs> because they have amazing ideas. It's so exciting to see this space filled with people and seeing how it clearly reflects the students' desires for gathering, especially when we have even more reasons to create supportive healing spaces at our schools for community and care. The water from the roof comes down and goes into this uh, big tank, which we call a cistern, which then can be used in the summertime to water the plants, to not, use, to not have to use our tap water. And then um, the other side over here, we collect almost 2,000 square feet of uh, roof area that comes down that pipe and goes across the little river stream and into the rain garden. So it, it fills up with water, um, and then if it gets too full, there's two little green um, uh, bird cages that the water then from there goes into the sewer system but it allows a place for the water to be uh, contained and absorbed by the plants and by the soil before it goes down towards the lake. Self-help projects at Seattle's public schools is thrilled to announce the completion of this is our 11th rain garden at an SPS site in partnership in partnership with RainWise and other school partners. It's the work of self-help to connect our school volunteers with the resources and supports to help engage our students and bring communities together to plan and take action. Really recognizing the wonderful collaboration um, that it took to really um, get all of this together and to see what we see today. Um, and also for keeping this work centered on our students um, and their um, ways for them to give input, for us to create um, the space together for our student community and for our larger community. So um, thank you everyone for, for all of that collaboration. To learn more about the Rain Garden at Leshai Elementary, RainWise and more self-help projects, go to 
www.seattleschools.org forward slash self-help project.